Hello from uh, my hobbies channel. This is Mark Josie. Now today I want to talk about uh, a conversion uh, of my air rifle, the QB78 Deluxe, to from a steel to to HPA setup. Now um, a lot of you will know that the uh, QB78 uses two. Um, CO2, the 12 gram CO2, and they go like that back to back. So, um, yeah, it's kind of costly and also not very uh, good because it it gives you only like 50 to 60 shots and then you need to change again. And also, uh, the power is limited on the CO2. And also, the most uh, concerned issue is that you need to pay for each CO2 that you use, right? So, we want something that doesn't cost you anything except for time for refilling that gun up. So after playing around with PCP rifles, um, I find that okay, what you need is just a pump. So here I'll show you, this is the Benjamin pump, one of the most affordable uh, hand pump out there. It doesn't come with this thing, but you can get this on Amazon. This is, um, the, the silicon and uh, they actually remove a lot lot of moisture so um, yeah you need to unscrew one screw here and then screw this on it's very easy it only take like two minutes to install and then after that okay you see right here all you need to do is take off the cap this is one of the filter and then the uh, moisture removing thing and then so when air comes into the pump it automatically already remove all the uh, moisture. To use the pump, okay, you need a tank. You can get a regulated, remember you need a regulated HPA tank. This is uh, one of them. Very small size, you can get a bigger size if you like. And this is regulated at 850 PSI. To fill this thing up, it's very easy. Now, let me show you how this pump works, okay? I assume that most of you will be like, oh, how the hell do I start, right? So, okay. The pump comes with a hose. This is the filling end. And you see this connector here? It's called the quick disconnect. To fill this up, you see the tank? Right here, the stick coming out. This is the quick disconnect uh, port. So, you remove that little plastic uh, protection cap and then this thing here goes with this, okay? So you plug this end in, into uh, this end, oops, hard to show you uh, up close, but it goes like that and they snap together. There's no screws, okay, just press and they go pop and snap together. And then after that, yeah, you uh, use the pump, okay? And then you keep pumping like a bicycle pump, and you keep pumping until, until okay, the meter here. There's a meter, okay. You until this thing says you reach 200 bars. That's the max you can go, and it will fill your tank up to the number three mark, the 3,000 psi. That's the highest mark you can go with this, and that's all you need. Okay, so one tank gives you a lot of uh, shots, and also it uh, allowed you to use it over and over again without paying money to buy CO2. Now, the QP78, let me show you around. Some stuff that you will need for this conversion. First, you need a belt because we need to put the tank around the waist. Uh, it's up to you what kind of holster you want to use for your tank, but here you can buy the pouches, but I use a flashlight holder. This is the Nightcore TM11, Tiny Monster. Uh, it's a very powerful flashlight. Okay, it's 2000 lumen and it's pretty cool. So anyway, besides that, the uh, holster on the Nightcore TM11 fit with this thing so well, you see? After you go like that, loop around and there you go. Okay, so what we want to do now is set up the gun. What you need is the gun, of course. Yeah. Okay. First, you need a remote line. This remote line uh, is from Air Venture. Okay, it's like that. One end here screws onto your tank, 
And then remember there's a on off switch which is very important. You see this thing? You screw down and then it will uh, puncture the tank, the, the pin, and the air will flow. When you screw it up, it will stop pushing that pin and then you can uh, empty the air on the hose and uh, remove it. The other end is a quick disconnecting uh, port. Okay, so, and other thing you need is the rifle, of course. This is the rifle. Okay. So, QP78, it comes with a cap, end cap, like this. And it just um, screws on and punch the two CO2, and then you can uh, have your CO2 inside this tube, get a gas tube. But you can buy this end cap like this. This is the QB78 uh, bulk fill end cap. I bought this from uh, Archer Air Guns, and uh, they sell a couple like this, okay, like this, without this port. Okay, you can directly screw a tank on right here, or you can um, use an adapter like this, or you can just forget about this part and plug the hose right here. Okay, so it worked either way, and I tried it just now. It worked well, uh, no scary issues. When you first uh, put like uh, allow the the uh, air to go inside here, the tube right here feels a little bit warm, and it kind of like freak you out, but it's fine, okay, it won't explode, safe. So you put this on, and then what you need to do is get the hose, okay. Now imagine that the hose is connected to the tank, okay. And then you put it and snap into this port, like that. Okay. This little adapter, I got it from Premier Air, is a uh, uh, adapter for the Droz. No, actually no, I got it from uh, Droz Max. Okay, but it's fine, you don't need that. If you don't use that, same same thing, you just plug it with this, and there you go. Okay, see it fits right there, okay. The other adapter, um, it gives you a bit more lengthy uh, reach so that it reaches your belt faster, so I'll use that this time, okay. I'll use this this time, just for the demo, okay. So you snap this on, like so. Okay, what you do is just snap everything on. This thing here, the cap, you screw that on, it's very straightforward. Okay, the other side, you connect the tank to it. So let us do that. Okay, there we go, the tank. Okay, there is a uh, protection cap, you remove that. Remember, do not put oil, like CO2, you do, you do not put oil on HPA tank, okay? No oil. Even the, uh, okay, here we go. Just a warning thing. Even here, you can see, do not use oil, okay? If you use oil, the tank can explode and it will turn into a grenade, so that's pretty scary. No oil, uh, it's fine. No oil, it won't leak as long as you store the tank properly with air inside. Okay. If you empty the tank, remember to uh, refill that tank right after shooting. It's the best way to store HPA tank is to put air inside and keep it pressurized. Okay, now that we screwed the um, tank and the gun together, okay, tank, hose, gun together. Okay, make sure that all the uh, connection port is all secured and not loosened up. And what you want to do is you screw the thing inside to puncture this uh, pin inside the tank and so the air will flow into the hose. So right now let me test the gun for you to see and so that you know it's empty. Okay, look at me here. No sound. Okay. Now what I want to do is activate the, um, activate the tank by going like this and screw it on. Okay. I put my hand on the gun gas tube and I can already feel the air inside because it's getting a bit hot or warm, I should say, not hot. 
Okay, now let me shoot a few shots to let you see how it's like. Very powerful, okay? When you are done shooting, when you are done shooting, what you want to do is you unscrew this port here, you unscrew it. Now there's no more air from the tank going into the tube. And what you want to do is shoot all the air inside the tube out before you unplug anything, okay? Right now the tube, the hose is still pressurized and you need to shoot out all the air in order to remove it or else when you pull it out it's, it's going to like boom and it's pretty scary so it's about 10 to 20 shots so let me shoot that out Eleven shot, twelve. Okay, I did about twenty four shot, and now it's safe to remove the tank, the hose. Here, a little sound. Okay, so everyone you see now the tank is removed and it takes only like what? Live very little time and what you want to do is uh, right now okay so the tank here you removed everything already and it's pretty straightforward you don't really even need to do anything just unscrew this out. Okay, very easy. Okay, put, remember first thing, put the protection, protection cap on, remove this, and we'll go pumping, and after you pump the tank back to 3000 PSI, you're good. And the, and the gun, right now, there's no more air inside the gun. See, no more air. Very safe, and it's very convenient. If you just like to sit down and shoot, like at home, okay, you don't want uh, to spend a lot of money buying CO2, right? So you can use this kind of setup and shoot for a long time without paying for the gas you, or air you use. And, you know, who give a shit, right? There's a hose and a tank. You can put the tank on the table and then have the gun rested and keep shooting, shooting, shooting until you're done, okay? Then uh, you unplug that thing and disconnect the air and you have an empty gun which is pretty safe and that's it right so it's easy cost effective and very economic to shoot like that okay i find that the modification from steel 2 gun to hpa not only allows you to shoot uh cheaper but also if you are brave <laughs> and you know what you're doing you can also tweak around the gun to get a higher pressure to um like for example, this tank here is 850 PSI, which is pretty safe. And um, uh, most people will say that the safe range is from 850 PSI to uh, 1000, 1001 PSI. And uh, yeah, that's the safe range for converting CO2 guns to HPA guns. And if you go over, uh, 1200 PSI it's going to be a bit dangerous and it may be not safe for a lot of guns that is not built for that kind of pressure so I do not suggest people using very high pressure or unregulated tank on the uh, QB78 so remember use regulated tank um, I suggest and try 850 PSI I shot it and it's safe so you can do that I will or might try 1000 PSI too and I think that it's also safe because I uh, asked the guy at Ultra Airgun that he said oh that's a low PSI too it, it should be okay but anything over 1000 PSI well you need to know your thing in order to do it safely I'm not sure yet so yeah uh, if you like to convert your gun to HPA you know do so at your own risk but you know I tested here and you see it's working for me so unless there's defective part whatever okay so 
Remember, buy stuff from reliable sources. Avoid second hand is my uh, honest opinion because you don't know what that thing is like when it's second hand, right? So I only buy from uh, places that I bought from. I bought from Drost Max, Ultra Air Guns, Premier Air, and uh, Air Guns Source. These places like Drost Max, they're really good. And I bought the tank from uh, Drost Max and they really uh, do a good job in uh, quality control. So no leaks so far. And I got a few tanks here too, so it's pretty good. So if you like to uh, convert your QB to a, a PCP rifle or whatever they call that, it's pretty cheap. It costs you like a bit to start to get the pump and stuff going. But remember, you can also use the pump for other guns you may have later on, like this one, okay, the PCP uh, pistol. You can use it for these, and it's not a waste of money. So invest in a pump, it's a good thing. And if you have a tank, have a pump, you can also buy a Dros Blackbird and use that as a PCP conversion to convert your Blackbird into a tank air shooter. So, yeah, see, a lot of uh, new stuff you can explore after you get the tank and pump. It's scary to start, but if you feel like uh, asking me questions, feel free to do so, and uh, I'll try my best to answer your question. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye.